What's up, guys? It's One Dream V6 coming at you with some horse racing manager two action. I uh, just want to drop two quick notes before I get into this uh, stable mode day, whatever. I'm actually going to start putting the days in the video so people can follow along if you're uh, just hopping in and just uh, becoming uh, aware of the game itself. Um, one thing I wanted to do differently, which I think would be, I think it'd be fun, and I think. It would uh, make the videos a little bit more interesting and make you guys want to watch them more. Um, I was kind of thinking of running or doing my own simulcast uh, type of live streams. Uh, if you're familiar with, you know, the whole internet uh, of gaming world and live streaming, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, essentially live streaming is just when you record what you're doing live, obviously. So, for example, uh, let's see if we can find a race here. I think it's an information tab, is it? No, I always forget which freaking tab it's in. Business. I don't know why it's in business, but I guess that makes sense. Okay, weekend race. So, say for example, say for instance, for example, uh, we wanted to go to. Well, if I had a horse, okay, and I entered a horse in, let's say, this race at Aqueduct, and there is maybe eight races on the card. Um, I would live stream the whole event with the eight races. You guys can wager. Um, as far as what type of reward, it would just be for fun. I do eventually kind of want to work something in for you guys to win just to make it a little bit more fun and competitive, but not obviously to the legitimate extent of gambling just because of, uh, you know, legal reasons and such, but just to make it fun and interesting. Um, you know, for example, this can be the first race. You can simulcast on this. I think each race in the game literally has a 10-minute time marker that ticks down for you to gamble, so I could do that. So the live streams would probably be um, anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on how many races we do. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool and interesting especially for you uh horse race uh fans you know um just for the fun of it and for the fun of the game so that's an idea i'm definitely thinking about if you're watching this video and you think that'd be pretty cool let me know in the comments section below if you have any specific ideas and also pitch those in the comment section below i greatly appreciate that and also like the video subscribe if you have not subscribed share it do all that good stuff in the beginning all right um, I think that's a, that's the first note I wanted to tackle. And the second note about actually getting this game, uh, I cannot. I've had a couple questions of people asking me, you know, how to turn the game into English. I can't do that for you because I did it probably a year to a year and a half ago, and I don't even have the files anymore that I uh, used to change it into English, and it was really a pain in the ass. Like it took me almost a month worth of searching to find the files to find out. Uh, where they were and then once I found the files and I downloaded them uh, It took me almost half a day literally just to figure just to convert it into English because you had to delete this file You had to change this file. You had to do a lot. It was really strenuous and I don't think I got it on the first time so um, Unfortunately, I don't have the files anymore But the good thing is I do have the game for free and I can send it to you um, for those of you that are uh, You know with modern technology uh, you can you just need to Skype uh, if you don't have Skype download Skype's free program You can download it on uh, any smartphone device uh, iPad laptop computer um, Download Skype essentially it's a free social messaging program you can text you can web chat all that stuff um, You download that you create a username I will send you my username and in fact I'll include my username in the description and uh, I'll probably put it in the video as I'm talking right now so you'll see it hopefully scrolling across the video you'll add me and it's just a simple file transfer uh, I send you the file you accept it and it should take anywhere from two to four hours depending on how fast your internet speed I have a very fast internet so if you have a good to fast internet or above average and it shouldn't take anywhere longer than two hours I'd imagine so that's the only way you guys can get this game there's no other way I can possibly teach you or show you how to change it into English I would not know where to start and I sure as hell will never go back to doing that again that's why I have like three copies of this game on different computers just because I never want to go through that again it's all saved it's all ready to go I'll give you guys a copy of the game for free that's all it is to it so that covers that I uh, covered all the important notes I'm trying to keep these videos relatively short I think the shorter the better. Um, too long, uh, just, I don't know, takes forever to upload and think I will lose your attention by the time it gets to, you know, like 25, 30 minutes. So I'll try to keep them between 15 and 20 minutes. So we are, I think this is June. The calendar is supposed to be the other way around, but it's 
I think it's June 11th. Let me make sure. Information. Fourth. That does not tell me anything. Diary. This does not help. Are these months? January? That could be April. That could be August. September. October. No. Okay, yeah. November, December. January. February, March, April, May, June. Okay. So we are in November? The hell? Oh, yeah, I forgot. The season starts you off halfway through the season. Halfway through the year. Okay. All right, so we're halfway through the season. So, uh, let's see. We only got two horses in the stall. Now, I got that girl, Paula. Um, and then I'm housing a horse right here, Jalous Mob. I really need to change the horse name. There's a lot of stuff in the game I know how to edit, but I don't know how to actually change it into English. Just because editing stuff in games is very, it's a similar technique. If you're really into video gaming, changing stuff like this, like names or colors or whatever you can do in the individual files is really similar. So I might do that. Uh, 50 Ravine, two-year-old. I don't think he can even run yet. Yeah, he can't run until he turns three. I couldn't enter him in a race in 2007, but none are here. Interesting. I wonder if I can enter that girl Paula in a 2007 race. Maybe it's just because it's too far ahead of time. <sighs> nope. So why can't I enter 50 Ravine in a race? You know what? Probably have to wait till the game makes you register as it being three years old. Okay. So I only got one horse I'm running. That girl Paula. Keep things interesting for now. Um, Left hand. Let's see. Track. She likes to be on the left handed side. Going. She likes firm dirt. I'm assuming companion, she likes a little bunny rabbit, I, I guess. Blinkers, no blinkers, she likes earplugs, like it rains to be short, and she likes protection round. Caps. Alrighty. So, I think last race, I finished, what, fourth? Before that, it was a first, first, fourth, first. So, so far this year, she's almost got $100,000 worth of winning. So, eventually, I should be able to enter a pretty big race. You see where Offspring is from. Um, okay. Oh, here's you can believe. Yeah, fourth, first. Yep, so she's really good in the top six. We have uh, nine top six finishes. So that's, that's really good for the first year. All right, um, training. Since her stats are all the way up, since I kind of maneuver that. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm a win, but I'm learning. I'm getting better, so that's why I am finally winning. Uh, training, just keep in shape, really. I'll probably try to get her a race at the end of November, maybe first week of December. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um, I don't let me, uh, hold on, let me see what distances she's good at, because I totally forgot. That distance was 1600. I'm pretty sure she's definitely a sprinter. 2400, that was a first place, right? Yep, 1800 to first place, 1600 to fourth place. Okay, 1600 is not good. 1800 to 24, more than likely. Yeah, she has not won it at 1600, so we're going to stay away from those. 1800 to 24. Uh, let's see. I don't want her to be injured, so. 2236 prize money. You're not injured in the race after that. That should be a good deal. Fairflex. Fair, Fairplex Park. Three-year-old sand. Can I get something with better? Um, <laughs> sand. I think it is sand. Cinder. Cinder, actually, I think is the uh, the ground she likes. So we'll enter that in November 27th. Uh, jockey. Experience. Just hire the best jockey because if he wins, he wins. It's really not six. I mean, half the grand for a jockey is really not bad if I'm winning. I'm only at $69,000. Yikes. Really kind of spent a lot. But if I keep placing a winning, I should be good. Let me look at my expenses so I know when to take out a loan. Because I'm definitely going to need one since I only got one horse running for me. I want to get a second horse, but I think that's too much. I really need to kind of just stick with what I'm good with. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? It is business. Yes. Okay. Budget. On the budget I have, I approximately have, it's only 7,000, 
grand. I mean, it's only seven grand a week expenses. That's nothing. I'm supposed to tell you how, you know what, wrong tab. Stable tells you how long I think you have until you are supposed to go bankrupt or whatever. No, it's not. So I'm just talking out my ass right now. <laughs> I swear it was there. I, I, I don't I don't know where it's at, actually. So, <clears throat> huh. Oh, well. Buildings. Now, I know I was building some stuff. It's been uh, two weeks since I last played. Is this still... That's still being built. I don't know if this is still being built or not. What was I trying to build? Something I really had a problem with and I couldn't build. A straight? I could finally build a straight, right? No. The straight is building somewhere. Where is it at? There's a sand pit. There's a paddock. There's a straight. Okay, it's all building. So, I'm just going to leave it where it's at. Alright, let's go to race day. Which is two weeks from now. So, I'll lose 21 grand. Uh, that hurt. I only lost five? Huh, interesting. Might be because of staff. Definitely when you uh, play this game, if you do, make sure to hire good staff. Keep your costs down. Yeah, I've only lost 8,000 in two weeks. That was going to be seven. It's not bad. Yeah, better staff, more money costs, but depending on uh, whether they're maintenance or assistance or whatever, they'll reduce your overall spendings. Or your overall weekly expenses. So keep that in mind. It is race week for that girl, Paula. Field of 12. We got the number one position. We should be on our left side of track, I'm hoping, which means we'll, we'll be right on the inside. Let's look at the rest of the field. See where they're at. Uh, we should pretty much be able to blow through most of these guys, except for the nine. Good speed, good acceleration, good morale, but shitty ass stamina. Terrible stamina, I mean. Uh, weather's good. 17,500 for first place. That would be lovely. That would cover the last two, two to three weeks worth of expenses I lost. That girl Paula, we are sitting there. Uh, I don't know. Let me see what our odds are, right quick. We're at four to four. I'll just say four to one. The rest of the field's kind of scattered. So we should be pretty good. I will bet on myself, though. I've always bet on myself in race games. I figure if I know I'm going to win, why not? <laughs> you know, otherwise, who else am I going to bet on? If I sucked completely, then I guess I would bet on somebody else. I'm betting on me to do all the above. I mean, this is $1,000 worth of betting money. It's really no big deal. Uh, what you could do? Sh is this show? Yep, okay, there's show and there's win. Cool. So I'll bet 500 on both. I don't need to do no exact or trifecta. Alrighty, raise day. Hopefully that girl Paula is able to pull through. Get myself set up, get ready to go. We'll see how we manage here at Fair Fairplex Park. I always want to say Fairflex. I have no idea why. Field of 12. Gate position one. If we get a good jump, man, we're standing we're ready to go. Uh, yes.
outside. Negro Apollo pushing for the finish. Negro Apollo with the last effort. Driving the stretch. That was incredible. Just pour it out. Ooh, I was nervous. I was so freaking nervous. Because I thought I could fit between that gap. But I couldn't. I don't like going to the outside unless I absolutely have to. I mean, I do prefer it. But I figure if I can get in through a gap, that saves time and energy. That girl, Paula, though. That, that is lovely. Mr. 245, 20. 17,500 for the win. First place. Yes. That is a good win. That is a really good win. The main thing is managing that stamina. Really is. So that's, that's awesome. More wins. Better standings and rankings for her. Also adds to the stable's worth. And what do you know? Back up to 70 Gs. That's absolutely lovely. Your bets. And I got an additional almost four grand for the bets. See, that's why you bet on yourself. I know my horse won. 50 Ravine is fully... Oh, horse was injured. Okay. Can resume training, but I can't raise... Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Okay. Uh, I don't need to buy any other additional horses. Uh, weekend races. I would go, but, you know, I'm betting on a completely random field. And betting is hard as hell on hardest horse racing in this game. I rarely win. I, I don't know why. Appraisal, what does that mean? Oh, duh, it tells you, you know, how long. I have 11 weeks approximately with my uh, stuff. I forgot. This also shows you, too. Shows you value your horses, all that good stuff. Um, it shows you, uh, it tells you how long you have with your weekly expenses. Um, tells you probably when you should uh, take a loan or, you know, what type of leverage you're sitting on, all that good stuff. Buying a circular track would be a good investment. Yada 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 yada. Financial problems. I figure probably by week five, or with if it, that gets down to like five or six weeks, then I'll probably ask for a loan. But I'm pretty good right now. If I can get another race, I'm not gonna overwork Paula. But you know, those wins come in handy. Fifty Ravine. Ugh, that technique is ugly. I'm really just. Contemplating on editing that in the horse editor. Okay, let me see if I can now I can enter her in a race. 2007. Yeah, nope. I don't know what that's about. Training. Preferences. It says you can work on training, but I can't train her. Oh, I can't train her for this. I can't train her for this week until she turns three. Pretty much, I think. I think that's how it goes. That's what it's seeming like. Cause watch January. Okay. Uh, that's that's weird. It's preferences, 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 preferences. Okay, so we'll do that. So we should be getting giving her her first race in April. I think that should be good. Preferences works on technique and all that stuff. Hit her up with a race, and then she'll be ready in April. And that girl Paula, let's see. What week is it? It is the fourth. So we want to have her rest this week. I might have her working. Nah, I don't want to overwork her. Let's keep her. Uh, let's have her rest this week. I'm going to try to get her race maybe the second or third week. <sighs> okay. 2200 And then, yeah, we need to get her a race soon. So we'll enter this one. Shouldn't be too much. Hoping not. Because if I, this horse gets injured, I'm completely... F-U-C-K-E-D. Alright, there we go. So, probably last race I'll do, I'll wrap up the video. But don't worry, I'll keep them coming. So, it'll probably be every day or at least every other day that these videos will be coming out. So, like I said, I just don't want them to be too long. Alrighty, let's check out 50 Ravine again. Um, that cost is all good, yada, yada, yada. Preferences is when all this stuff comes up. That's why I put it. That way I know exactly what I need to be running them in. 
in each race. No, they said I need to invest in a circular track. Do I need a no? I'm gonna keep my maintenance because I feel like it's doing good. Buy a facility, circular track. Can I freaking buy one? Yes, I can. How much is the goals? 24 G's that ain't bad. We need to build it and saw a solar. Ugh. A soul. A solarium. I don't, I, can't, I don't know why I can't say that at all. I don't. I, okay, if it was gymnasium, it'd be gymnasium. So that's a solarium. <sighs> okay. No, I don't want to build a pool. I want a circular track. How do I even get to a pool? Circular track. 72? Are you kidding me for the first? What support? What, how is this going to help me make money? Or help my expenses? Strictly for training. Endurance, yeah, but I need more money for that. And I'm not, I don't want to take out a loan just yet. So we're going to... Which week am I racing? Before I advance too far. Spawns. That girl, Paula. We got her entered for a race at the 12th. Okay, so next week. That's one week. <sighs> Pretty excited for the Derby, man. It always sneaks up on me because it's like thoroughbred racing for most countries. I mean, for most uh, tracks, don't start till April. And the fact that the Derby's like one month after that, not even, is crazy. The Derby's like the beginning of the, of the of the horse racing season, as opposed to most sports where their championships are, you know, the end. But Derby's right in the beginning, so I always always catches me off guard Saturday pads and I'm like oh crap but actually I missed I think last year's derby no I missed the last two missed the last two and I just kicking myself in the foot like I could have watched it but I just totally forgot just because it just sneaks up on me like that and ESPN doesn't really I really kind of dislike how ESPN doesn't even talk about the derby until like Friday or the day of the derby and then maybe the Sunday and then that's it, you know. Otherwise, you don't hear about the Derby that much. I think they do have a couple things come on, but it's not like it should be. Anyways, field of 15. We're on sand. Not sure that's going to make us do. Let's look at the rest of the fields. A quick skim. Uh, quick skim. Field looks pretty well below us, so we should be able to sweep through them. Rainy weather. I grew up Paula, of course I'm the favorite. I really need to be racing against better horses. I am so above these horses league in terms of category and class. We're gonna bet on myself again. That girl Paula. We Oh, we're actually not the main favorite. The fifteen is. Whatever. Uh what number am I? Seven. So we're gonna do the same thing. It works. You know, maybe once I get more comfortable and I get to the point where I have money to spend, yeah, I'll do some interesting bets. But I don't care about the rest of the field. I just care about winning. If I don't win, then I at least hope I play. So prize money's eighteen thousand for first, seventy two hundred for second, forty three twenty for third, twenty eight eighty for fourth, eighteen hundred for fifth, and one oh eight oh for sixth. Let's roll. Oh yeah, once I'm on the gambling thing, I mean the uh, simulcast thing, this timer right here, this is the timer I was talking to you about if you haven't paid attention to it. The legitimate timer, meaning if this hits zero, then the race will automatically start, I'm pretty sure. Or it'll say bets are up or something. I actually forgot. Last time I've actually had that go all the way down to zero is when I played the first final stretch horse racing sim manager game because I actually used to kind of like make my own like wagers and stuff. Because I was, I was probably like, sixth or seventh grade when that came out so or well at least when i was playing it so you know i was still in that young mindset of just kind of just gambling for fun you know obviously just kind of making my own so, yeah.
Cheetah behind the first missing in this game. The AI are completely oblivious to the fact that they're in the final stretch. They stay in their same lane. Like that's so annoying. Eighth place. That's terrible. That was that was not supposed to happen. And that was exactly where I was supposed to be. Left side of the rail, inside track. And, oh, I can't leave off on that note. I, I need a redemption race. <laughs> it's terrible. I, what? I lost. Whew. Eleven thousand spent, and I lost the three thousand. I lost the grand for the betting. It's not a good feeling, man. It's not a good feeling at all, especially when you know you can win. It's different if you just wasn't. It'd be different if you just weren't competition for the field. But I had plenty of stamina. You see how eager was she was trying to get out and just could not get a good position. Hawthorne twenty eight hundred. That's a really long race. Twenty eight hundred. Me, ugh, I'm not not a fan of those. But you know what? We need a race. We'll run and see what we can do. And this time, I'm going to make sure I probably stay outside. I'm, I don't even like... I really don't like being on the inside of the rail unless I'm within the top three. If I'm anywhere fifth and back with horses on both sides, it's, it's not good. It never really works out. I'm advancing one week at a time because I want to see how my expenses are looking. If I go too far and I end up bankrupt and taking out a loan, just put it in a really bad spot. Man, that sucks. Really sucks. But that happens though. That happens a lot in hardest horse racing. Like just when I went up to the track the other day, horses that you could tell were just just eager and just you knew they would just bust it if they you know were able to get out of traffic, just weren't able to go anywhere. And now I see why jockeys make their moves halfway at, at the halfway mark. I'm like, why are they making a move so early? But I realized that you know. If you're on the inside of the rail, you need to make your move fast because once you get, three, you know, to the three quarters mark, I mean, you're screwed, pretty much unless you're fortunate for a hole to work to open up, and that's asking for a lot in harness horse racing. So now I see I might have to start making my move at the halfway point because even three quarters, like I tried last time, I was blocked in. I would I could try to slow my horse down completely, but then that messes up his stamina and to still catch up to the rest of the field is not. An easy thing to do. That eighth looks terrible. You you have fourth and first, 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 and you have an eighth. That looks, this looks absolutely bad. I'm sure I'm the favorite. I'm always the favorite. I'm the strongest horse amongst this class. So, oh, let's see what they're putting us at. That girl Paula, six to one essentially, I think. And there's two other horses that are six to one. So we're gonna have some competition. We are the 11 horse. No, I have no idea if this track is uh, we're going on the left side or we're going reverse. I don't really think it matters that much because I'm not sticking to the rail anymore. So let's hope we uh, let's, let's look at what the money is. Keep forgetting that. 1700 for first. Yada yada yada. Trickles down the same. So hopefully we have a good running. <laughs> Hopefully we have a good running. We'll get blocked in. We're already on the inside. I wanna score. Then the running clear baby moves around between horses falling in the side and the other way back to the trailer. That's all good.
really need to make a game like this for like a console or PS5 or PS3. Like, it'd be awesome. Or sure. something like that. Or like, you know, it's crazy. Like, of course, racing games are about down on the skirt. You know, GI Jot. They did like something like that, except for the farm sports racing. That'd be awesome. Run it back to the pack. It's okay. Just edge up a little bit. Just catch up. Fire yourself. That's not bad. All the way from 16th to rally to 5th place. That's not bad. Like I said, even though as great of the stats as uh, she has, I still, as a jockey, um, I'm not per perfect. So, yeah, the start kind of sucked. And then uh, we trailed. So wasn't able to really manage her a lot. I'll wrap it up for this episode. I forgot which one it is. But next time, I'll know for sure once I upload the video. Just check a couple things right quick and then uh, leave it off on that. Budget expenses are still seven thousand a week. Not bad. Pringle, we have nine weeks left, so we're good. I'll let me know when I probably should take a loan out. And they actually do let you know when you should take a loan out. So until that happens, you're pretty much okay as long as you can still win on a pretty consistent basis, you know, or at least place. Everything's pretty good. Uh, I don't want to enter her in a race yet because I'll forget next time. I'd rather just wait till we come back. So That's it for this uh, episode of Horse Racing Manager 2, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please do me a favor. Hit that like button, button, subscribe, share, comment, do all that good stuff. Like I said, drop your ideas or suggestions for anything you want in terms of uh, what I should do with Horse Racing Manager 2 if, uh, for the community and for you guys especially. Um, if you know anybody else is into horse racing, just might be in a horse racing game, tell them to watch the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Other than that, thank you for your support. Next video should be coming out uh, probably a day after this one or uh, two days after this one. Other than that, I'll see you guys then.